Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Josh Chagoda and today I'm going to show you how to mobilize your hips and your low back after you wake up. A lot of people have these injuries and they have this stiffness into their low back and it's really uncomfortable. So they report that one, um, it's painful and it's sore, but two, they really have a discomfort getting up in the morning and getting that mobility started. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to improve your mobility right after the morning or right before the evening just as you wake up or go to bed and this will help with regard to that mobility so that you can get up on your feet and start going to the bathroom, brushing your teeth, getting ready for work, doing what you have to do after you've suffered so, um, some low back pain. So what you'll do is you'll go onto your back just like this and you'll just lay here because imagine if you know you just are sleeping, you wake up from your sleep and now what's going to happen? You know that as soon as you come up you're gonna have low back pain. So the first thing first is I see way too much of this. <gasps> like that. So a lot of people will just like keep themselves up. That is a great way to injure your back and if you're already injured that is not gonna be comfortable. First things first, you wanna make sure you get onto your side, engage your core, and then push yourself up. Both hands, walk yourself up, and use your legs as like a pendulum to help kinda of come up. So that is after this, but first things first is we want to do this mobility. Uh, what I do with my hips is I'm going to keep them bent. I'm going to relax my back into the bed or wherever I'm at on the floor. Preferably uh, the floor would be best for you because you want a hard surface and you really want to make sure that the back has some support. But for this table, I'm going to show you just what you're going to do is grab both sides or put your arms down to the side and you're going to rock back and forth. Now, what's going to happen is if you're really tight, you're not going to be able to come up because as you, if you bend and you're really tight, your hip is going to kind of pop up off the floor and that'll put a lot of strain on the low back. That's not what you're going for. You're just going to slide to side this way, warming up the hips, warming up the back and priming your body for movement so that this way when you do get up, it is a lot easier and you're a lot more efficient. It's much better for you right now if you're in pain or discomfort to take two seconds back, you know, give yourself 30 seconds of hip mobility stuff and low back mobility before you start getting up so this way you're ready to go in the morning. So you're going to do this back and forth it can, and everybody's different on how far they want to go but back and forth side to side windshield wipering the knee and just to give you the kind of this way it's kind of I'm just doing this with my knees just like that but laying on your back you just go side to side and that's it you know do 10 on each side 20 reps whatever it may be once you're done with that that's when you'll turn to your side gauge your core take your hand push up push up and come up very slowly so that is an easy way to mobilize your low back and some of your hips. If you're suffering some low back pain, you really feel stiffness and discomfort in the morning, this is a great way to really help alleviate some of that stiffness, soreness, and discomfort as you arise in that morning so that you can get ready on your day, all right? If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to our channel, give it a like, and I'll see you guys next week for another episode. Take care.